Alright, so this is going to be a really quick video on how to install Seamless Co-op and Randomizer. I figured I'd do an updated video since the last one was out of date. So, here we are. You just want to download the Seamless Co-op mod enemy and item randomizer mod. You're going to want to download the Elden mod loader and mod engine 2. Once you have those things downloaded, you can see right here on my desktop, I have my downloads folder nice and clean here with those three mods unpacked here randomizer loader and co-op i got my mod engine directory right here in the middle i'm not going to go over setting that up because i already have it set up and i have several videos regarding the usage of mod engine 2. and then on the right here we have our game directory one quick thing to note for you guys my game directory might look a little bit differently than yours and that's just simply because i have it unpacked using uxm because i do a lot of modding my mod engine 2.0 directory might look a little bit different than yours. That's just because I have a couple extra folders in here. Those are for mods that I'm working on. That is all. So to get started here, the first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and just open up the Elden mod loader folder over here and take its contents and plop those over into your game directory here. We're gonna really quickly come back over here, open up the seamless co-op folder here grab the executable out of it and go and drop that into our game directory. Mine already has one in there from earlier. I'm just going to replace it for the sake of posterity. And then we'll open up the seamless co-op folder over here in our downloads, take the contents from that and drop them into the mods folder that is now within our game directory. If you're wanting to set this up to play with your friends, which why would you not be if you have the mod, you're going to want to set up a co-op password. You can do this by just opening up the seamless co-op settings.ini using something like notepad, notepad++, anything that's a text editor, and then set yourself a password that you and your friends will share. Something simple, but maybe also complex so that other people aren't using it. See this right here. Mies. Probably not a good one, but you could use it. Uh, go ahead and exit that out once you are done with it. That's pretty much all you're going to have to do in terms of installing the Seamless Co-op mod itself. So if you're just shooting for Seamless Co-op, that's really all you're going to need to do right there. Now, if you're adding the Randomizer mod into the mix, you're going to want to take the Elden Ring Randomizer folder that is within the Elden Ring Randomizer folder. Funny. Take that, drop it into your Mod Engine 2.0 directory and then open up the Elden Ring TOML folder here with some sort of a text editor and then change down here for you. You'll see this. It will likely say mod for you. Rename it as randomizer, save it, and then close it. Once you've done that, we'll just go ahead and open up the randomizer folder right here. Go into the Elden Ring randomizer.exe and then depending on whatever settings it is you want to do, set that up. I'll leave that up to you. Come down here, select your game executable from your game directory, and then go ahead and click randomize items and enemies. This takes a second, so we will talk when that is done. Alrighty, so assuming there's no issues in the process of it randomizing, you'll get a nice little green banner down the bottom that says done and restart your game. Your game probably shouldn't be running at this point, so I wouldn't stress the restart your game part. You can go ahead and safely close the executable here. This part is actually quite important though, to play with your friends without any sort of desync issues or anything like that to make sure that everybody's got the same randomizations for items and enemies. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and pack this up using something like 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever the case, and upload it for your friends to download and then place inside of their own Mod Engine 2.0. I personally just use Discord to upload the randomizer folder to my buddies for them to download. You can use whatever works for you. Now, assuming that all of that is done and good, you can go ahead and launch with the launch mod eldenring.bat. You can make a shortcut on your desktop if you would like to. Alrighty, so assuming everything's working as it should, you'll get greeted with a nice little welcome message here and a little warning saying that the mod uses a separate save. This actually plays in nicely to an error that you could get just saying that your save file is corrupt and it won't load or progress for you. Um, easiest thing to do in this instance is go ahead and just launch it without the randomizer and start a fresh new character uh, so that there is a save associated with the new separate saves that the 
uh, seamless co-op mod uses. And then once you have done that, you can go ahead and just back out of the game and then re-add the randomizer and then go from there. And then once you're in the game, if you're the host, you're going to just want to navigate down to your inventory and then the tiny great pot. Using this just opens up your world to wanderers, aka your friends or the people you're trying to get to join you that use a matching password. And then if you are trying to join, you just want to use the effigy of millennia that should just yank you into whoever's hosting, uh, assuming they have used their tiny great pot. If you have any issues beyond um, the corrupt file save, go ahead and hit up the people over at the Seamless Co-op Discord. I'll have that link down below. They're really helpful people over there, but if you just need help with some basic troubleshooting or you want to look for some people to run co-op with, you can always pop into my server to say hello or ask a few questions. If this was helpful for you, go ahead and leave a like and then subscribe if you're looking for more Elden Ring modding guides.